This week, we spend an extra night at Yosemite National Park in our Class B camper van and hike the Mist Trail to see the waterfalls. I was able to book this spot for two nights online because there was a last minute cancellation and I've been checking every day since and yesterday while we were on our hike I was able to snag another spot in the same campground just across the way and it looks like they're leaving so we're gonna get moving and move over to that spot it's kind of fun we're leapfrogging from spot to spot and who knows what tomorrow will bring and today is a Saturday, so the fact that you were able to grab that spot, I think, is pretty lucky. Yeah, and it is a gorgeous day today. Well, let's get packed up and we can move over. There they go. The trail to Vernal Falls runs right along the campground. Get a jump on all of the uh, day hikers. It is kind of flooded back here, though. A little bit. Yeah. That one's a little tricky. I don't have the best balance. Oh. One point five miles, no problem. I say that now. I'm probably going to regret that later. And you want me to go all the way up to here? Only if you want to. I can't go with you because I gotta go back to Leo. Yeah. It's gorgeous up here and the water is really helping cool things down. I'm hot. Keep going. No. Holy crap. If this is only moderate and the next one is strenuous, I'm not gonna be able to go any further. Only 0.3 miles left to do this. That's Nevada Falls in the background and we are calling it quits here. We're going to save something for our next trip to Yosemite. Now we're going to take the cutoff and hit John Muir Trail for the way down. We may not 
not be hiking up to Nevada Falls, but that's a pretty incredible view. No, just kidding. Go ahead. Yep, yeah, photo bombing. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful up here. I wouldn't mind coming back and doing this all over again. I just have to wait a week or so to recover. Oh man. Ah, finally the descent. But sometimes going down is harder than coming up. Two miles. Two point three miles. Uh -huh. The moment we've all been waiting for. All I could think about coming down that trail was having some watermelon. One for you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's see if it's any good. Mm. Worth it? This is the best one I've had all season. Because it's the one you worked the hardest for. That's true. Cheers. Cheers. Those guys just filled up their mattress using our plug. You left out the best part of the story. That they gave us beer? No. That it was blowing for about 20 minutes with the valve open. <laughs> I was like, that thing should be done by now. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh huh. I can't believe how much attention the camper van is getting. Into that pocket in the wall. Anytime we see fellow travelers like this, we have to stop and see what's going on. Looks like these people have been through most of Central America, North America, Argentina. They're from Argentina. It seems that way. So a little South America action. We'll have to check them out. They have a Facebook page. Yep. It's always exciting to meet fellow travelers. I wish they were around. We could say hello. Well, we might run into them later. Maybe. Oh. That was a dip. Thank you. Okay, safe travels. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm going to miss this campground. I'm going to miss Yosemite. Yeah, I'm going to miss Yosemite. What about you, bud? Oh, he loved it here. Right, little guy? Leo wants to know why we're leaving today. The coolest day it's been since we've been camped here. It's in the low 40s. Why are we leaving? Noon on a Sunday. How long do you think it's going to take to get out of the park? Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. It's nice to take it easy. We're in no hurry. This is true. And we get to enjoy a very slow, slow, almost like a moving tram view of Yosemite. <laughs> I like it. I'm from Texas. We've seen a lot of camper vans here and yeah. little, little RVs. A lot of homemade camper vans too. Did you see the 4x4 Mercedes this morning? That it was just an air mattress with insulation on the inside? I did. That was great. Cool. I like the guy in the space blanket. It's like a space blanket poncho. It's awesome. Kate met the camp host the other day at Upper Pines and now she's determined to get some sort of position or camp hosting gig within the park so that we can be here for at least a couple months. She was saying six months. I might be able to do it for two, maybe three months max. I don't know how long I could stay in a national park full time. There's a lot to see at Yosemite. It's not a bad place to be a camp host. I thought there was a bear out there, but it's just someone trudging through the grass. Next time, we wake up at a truck stop and experience the kindness of strangers on the road. I am Jeff. I was Joe's roommate way back in the day, way before he met Kate, and I am so happy that they are together and traveling around the U.S. So, if you like We're the Russos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. 
Also, if you want to check out their first video, make sure to check it out somewhere around there. And if you're ever so interested, you can always check me out on Twitter at L. Jeffrey Moore. Thanks for tuning in.